Hey, what is up guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros, and today we bring you the $425 complete gaming setup. Let's get right into it, shall we? But first, a word from today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by, wait for it, GBG Mall, an online marketplace to gain access to some game keys and also, more specifically, Windows 10 licenses for dirt cheap. So if you go to GBG's Mall's website with the link we give you down below, you can go to Windows 10 Pro and actually get a Windows 10 Pro for like 12 and some change by using code TB20 at checkout. We use them for all our PC builds and more specifically, this setup right here is most likely gonna get activated with a Windows 10 key from GVG Mall. We really do recommend them. And as Jackson mentioned, link in the description down below if you wanna get a key, use code TB20 at checkout. And well, how about we go ahead and get right into this PC build, shall we? So what we have brought to you guys to the table here is a lot like our $700 complete setup, except we decided to cut that budget almost in half by going 425. So mouse, keyboard, headset, and computer, and monitor, everything you need to start gaming on a budget. Now keep in mind there were some sacrifices we had to make in a $425 budget and we will mention those when we go over each part in this build, but before you comment down below and hate on a specific part, just know it's a really cheap budget to do a full setup, compromises had to have been made, and you can always tinker some things a little bit if you want to make it better for your needs. So what we have here is the OG Ryzen 1200, and it is new because they kind of pointed that out there, but Amazon was having a really good sale where I think this was like $65, don't quote me on that, it'll be in the description down below, but really good quad core CPU that is Ryzen based, it's first gen, so it's a little bit older, but still a really good processor for this really cheap build. And to house that processor, we decided to go with an A320M because we will have a little bit of wiggle room as far as upgrades go, but we needed a really cheap motherboard and the A320M kind of just fit that budget and it's from Gigabyte. So you can go all the way up to like a Ryzen 1600 with this and of course you really can't do any overclocking so don't expect anything like that. So as you guys know, Ryzen does like a little bit higher speed RAM. So we actually, for a really good price, were able to get eight gigs, two four gig sticks at 2666. I hope I added enough sixes there. I'm not too sure. I might've had to take some away, but who knows. And what we have here is another M.2 drive because as Matt has kind of pointed out before, we're kind of getting away from the two and a half inch or three and a half inch drive because these drives do not require any external power. They don't need a SATA cable or anything. They just plug straight into the motherboard. So it's a lot cleaner setup. So if you can fit one of these in your budget, we do highly recommend going with like an M.2 or M.2 NVMe drive. So instead of going with the OG RX 580, we decided to go with the 570 because we haven't really tested those a lot and you can get them for really good deals on eBay. So we'll have a price in the description down below, but 570 for this build with the quad core Ryzen should be a really nice little gaming build. For the power supply, we actually managed to score a pretty good deal on a Thermaltake 500 watt power supply. It's actually 80 plus certified and it'll be more than enough power to be able to upgrade this build in the future. And you know, it's Thermaltake. Of course, you can go on EVGA B stock and maybe even eBay and some other sites and get an EVGA power supply for a little bit cheaper. But this one being over a little bit over $30 ended up being a good deal. Now for the computer case, which is something we definitely had to make some compromises with because, well, you gotta save money somewhere. This is the FBM X1 from Roswell. Jackson built in this case multiple times, even on videos off uh, camera, and it actually is a really interesting case. Um, there is gonna be one thing we're probably gonna have to deal with. There's a brace inside here that really limits the length of the graphics card you can get. With a little bit of wiggle room, or maybe, hopefully it doesn't come to it, a little bit of cutting, you can make the graphics card fit inside a case like this. Um, but it's cheap, really cheap, um, and it has a side panel, so we can kind of make it look really good here at the Toasty Bros. First, a keyboard and mouse combo kit. I'm gonna be honest with you, this combo kit was one of the cheapest kits we could get on Amazon. Literally the cheapest one we could find. It has membrane key switches, it has a really weird spider looking like gaming mouse, like the Razer Naga Molten Edition, but you know, in 2019. Um, it's not gonna be anything special, and it's just gonna be something that can get you off the ground and actually allow you to type WASD to actually play video games with it. Um, the mouse is gonna be okay, and for around $20 for a keyboard and mouse that has some lighting to it, it's honestly a great deal. Now for the headset, we have the Hunter Spider Pro Gaming headset, which honestly, there's really nothing too pro about it, but it's a budget gaming headset. It has some blue LEDs on it and a microphone. Um, for a really cheap price, this will get you to be able to talk on Discord with your friends, be able to hear game audio, and well, it's not gonna blow you away, but it will do the job for getting audio into your ears while you're playing your games, and uh, well, does the job for this full setup. Now this is one of the things I'm most excited about with this whole setup. This is the monitor that we went with. Yes, yeah, so we were managed to include a monitor into this full setup video, because duh, monitor without a setup, like how's that even work? Uh, this is the Scepter 20 inch 75 hertz monitor. You heard that right, not 60 hertz, 75 
5 hertz. This is actually a slight upgrade over the monitor that we used in our previous $700 setup, but the downside of this monitor is it's not a 24 inch monitor like that other one, it is a 20 inch monitor. As you can tell by this box, it is really, really small. Um, we're gonna see how usable that is at a 20 inch size, um, but you know, at a very cheap price on Amazon readily available and 75 hertz, it could be a good option. So, uh, <laughs> well, so now that we've gone over everything for this complete setup, how will we start building this PC and putting this whole setup together? guys so now that the whole setup is put together we are going to start benchmarking some games first up we are going to be testing fortnite on all epic settings 1080p with the frame rate cap turned off we are going to see exactly how the performance is we have msi afterburn in the top left corner i'll be glancing at that throughout the benchmark but right now at the menu we're getting over 100 fps which really isn't telling all that much but after we dive into a game we'll have a better idea of what kind of performance we're getting all right, so in the dropship, we have around 100, now down to about 50-ish FPS. Again, we have the frame rate cap turned off, so that is most likely gonna cause some stuttering. Normally, in this situation, with you probably lock the frame rate at like 75 FPS, because doing that will allow you to take advantage of that 75 hertz and kind of limit the stuttering that happens when you uh, max it out. One thing I do wanna mention while Jackson is running through this benchmark run is that we actually are using a 1600 by 900 monitor. We'll talk more about it at the end of the benchmark run, but the monitor we picked out is not standard 1080p. Uh, the main reason we did this was, well, honestly, we didn't really know. The listing that we bought this from on Amazon was kinda deceptive. It just seemed a little bit off. Um, but it was a really cheap monitor on Amazon that you could get and the 75 Hertz really appealed to us um, But even at 1600 by 900 It's actually kind of giving us a little bit of a benefit because the performance numbers are a little bit better because it's not full 1080p uh, But really oh, shouldn't wow. matter. You probably see similar numbers across uh, 1080p if you actually went that option um, And we'll mention that more at the end of the benchmark. Can I parachute if I jump? Uh, you know, you have to pick up a parachute now. Oh, so I probably should not then. You know, you'll just be dead. All right, guys, so the next game we are gonna be testing is PUBG. We are running on maxed out settings, 1080p right now. Jackson will show the settings real quick. At 1600 by 900, as we mentioned before, uh, everything is running maxed out, and oh. we're gonna see what kind of frame rate we're getting <laughs> Wait. here. Where's the, oh, is this you're it? Here, you're here, dude. There's this ultra settings. Ultra settings, there you go. Uh, but now Jackson's gonna drop in and see if he can get a kill in this game. Where should I drop, dude? I don't know, I'd have a- Gonna get a little yeah. lag here. All right, so now we land in, going through the smoke. <laughs> we just lagged really randomly, but right now we're at 59-ish FPS. Uh, inside the building, we hit 70, but it looks like it's probably gonna hover around the 50s when we go outside, but no, actually, the frame rate is going all the way up to about 80. Uh, we'll see if Jackson can uh, get a kill real quick, but it seems to be pretty rock solid. Those uh, frame times are really good. Jackson is about to approach an enemy. Can he get him? He's on single shot, he's on single shot. Oh. And he just got <laughs> clapped. But uh, performance, you know. Pretty solid. Yeah. Do you see that death cam, dude? All right, guys. So the last benchmark we are going to be running is Far Cry 5's built-in benchmark on high settings. You can crank it up to ultra, but in our opinion, high settings is probably the best middle ground for this kind of system. This is a very GPU-bound benchmark, so we'll see exactly how the RX 570 stands in this game. Right now, starting off the benchmark, we are getting around 60 FPS. Going out into the more demanding areas, we're still around 60. Um, really maintaining a good 60 FPS throughout the whole benchmark. Uh, we'll let this benchmark run real quick and get a good idea 
idea of the min, max, and averages at the very end, but overall it's looking pretty solid, hitting 80 at one point, 70 seems to be the max right now, 67 the average, 54 the minimum, uh, but a game like this really gives you a good idea of how a system like this is performing like modern AAA titles like Far Cry or any other new single player game that may come out. Uh, this is a good representation of that. Um, and right here where the explosion is going to happen, we'll see exactly where the dips go. But it looks like it dipped down to 55, 56. Um, but overall, very impressive numbers for Far Cry 5 on high settings. Again, you can always dip the settings down a little bit in game. But, you know, overall, I'm actually very impressed. So as you guys can see, for only $425, this complete setup was actually able to play and overall a pretty enjoyable experience. Obviously, this is a little bit of a weird resolution, 1600 by 900, a little bit less than 1080, a little bit over 720. It's kind of like a widescreen format, but it plays games good and it looks pretty good. You can always upgrade this in the future, maybe sell it for 50 bucks and then get yourself a 1080p, you know, bigger 24 inch monitor or even 4K at 144 hertz. This PC will oh, easily, definitely, definitely yeah, handle easy. it. No, but in all honesty though, really good uh, setup for the price. And you know, as far as like the first things to upgrade, because this does have some upgrade path, I would maybe say go with a little bit better processor. Like a 1600 is about your, your max headroom. And then maybe a 580, and it'd be a really capable system at that point. But yeah guys, thanks again to GVG Mall for sponsoring this video. If you are trying to get a Windows 10 key for maybe this exact setup, check the link in the description down below and use code TB20 on checkout to save 20%. Thanks again, guys, for watching this video, and hopefully we will see you all in the like, next one. Like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, do that. Yeah, Bye. do that too. Bye.